Alright guys, what's going on? Welcome to your next Android tutorial. Now, I can't believe I never actually covered this, but <laughs> I never covered the uh, broadcast receivers for some reason. I don't know how I didn't manage it, but that's what we're going to do now. Sorry if you hear a whining noise in the background, the dryer's going. So, we're going to cover broadcast receivers, which are, in a nutshell, uh, what I like to think of a sending a broadcast is like yelling out to the whole system this action has happened they're based on intents so you send an intent down and go yay and then whichever receivers are there receive that intent and process it they are used for most of the time you would use them for let's say like a, a good example would be when the device is booted or on the device boot uh, a broadcast is sent and you can do this maybe so the device is booted you can tell your app the device is booted what do you want to have happen maybe refresh a widget for a clock or something um, the thing has started going into daydream mode, it's out of daydream mode um, indicates low battery we're going to work with one that's just the airplane mode which means that the uh, airplane mode is turned on or off on the phone to change state so let's get started and create our new project that's a java project, thought we were doing android android application project broadcast tutorial and we're just going to set to uh, 4.2 actually just set Android 4 I'm really not bothered to do this, the nonsense with the library icons and stuff like that yep next 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 finish okay broadcast tutorial so first thing we're going to do open up our SRC and we're going to create a new class and we're going to create a receiver, so we're going to call it airplane receiver. And we're going to extend broadcast receiver. Okay. So there we go, airplane rec receiver is ready to go. So essentially, what happens is we have to register this in the manifest, but it's very simple. We're going to register this app, this broadcast receiver in the analysis to receive intents with the airplane mode changed filter. Now I haven't done intent filters yet. I might do those in the future in my next few videos, but this is what's happening here. So essentially, is this on receive method is called, and then that can do things in your app. So you got a context, you got the intent that called it, or everything. So essentially, this will catch the system's going to yell airplane mode has changed, and we're going to catch that and act on it. So for now, we're just going to say toast, make text, our context. How do I spell toast wrong? I know you guys say, oh, um, I know you guys are like, oh, why don't you just like use the control space, like this thing here. I'll be honest, I'm just too lazy. Airplane mode changed, int duration, and short dot. Now, there's a couple of things I want to point out with this. This intent will only exist here, it doesn't exist anywhere else unless you like pull the data and pass it in somewhere. Although you can do sticky intents, you get to that, it's kind of hairy. Anyway, there we go toast.make text. Okay, so let's register our receiver. Let's go into our manifest. And in the application tag, we're going to create a receiver. Okay, it's going to be Android name equals com.te.broadcast.tutorial airplane receiver. That's our receiver name. Bang on the money. Okay. Actually, hang on, I'll just end that there. Okay, so there's our receiver tag. So we've got a receiver object. And what we want is our intent filter. Well, 
yeah, we need our intent filter, okay? So our intent filter will be intent filter. So the intent filter is what dictates what triggers this receiver. You can use the intent filters to start activities. I'll actually need to go through more advanced intents and intent filters, but essentially, yeah, we'll do that in a future video, but the intent filter is when the intent you're sending is not specific to the application. It's sort of saying, this is the intent, who wants to respond to it? And this is what this intent filter is. It defines what intents we should respond to here. So the action that we're responding to is in the Android namespace of the XML equals android.app.action. So a bunch of the move cup here. It's a uh, Android dot Actually, I need to look. I'll actually have to look through this. Okay, so that's not it. I'll look through this list. I, I know it ends with uh, action airplane mode change, but I can't remember what it's called. Android.intent.action, is that it? I'll find it, hang on. Okay, so I had to do a little bit of Googling, but I did find it. It's android.intent.airplane mode. Ta-da. So that should work. So we'll close up our tag. And we'll run this now. I know we've done this very quickly. Intent filters, need to do a video on those in the future, but essentially, this is uh, quite a cool little thing to do here. So we have a receiver ready. Okay, so let's uh, run it. See what happens. Run it as Android application. I have my Jenny Motion emulator up and running. Let's see what relevance this has. So Jenny Motion emulator. Okay. So what we're going to do is going to X out of this, or not X out of it, <laughs> home out of it. We're going to go to system settings. We're going to go to more airplane mode. And look, airplane mode changed. Turn it off again. Airplane mode changed. Boom. It sent the system sent a broadcast. We picked it up and away we go. And that's really it guys. That's broadcast receiving in a nutshell. In the next video we're going to create a custom broadcast receiver where we're going to actually send a unique broadcast for our app to another section of our app. And we'll do that in the next video. But as always, guys, it's been good talk. And I'll see you out there.